cost is concerned? Yeah, it's a good question. So often as a design team, each project they select a new architect, a new engineer, a new geotech engineer, and often that team has never worked together. Mm. Uh, and so not only that, but we often start again from scratch every time. So we start with a whole new architecture and a whole new structural form. Structural form means what, what are you going to build the building out of? Timber, concrete, steel. So if we start new every single project, there is no chance to learn on what could have been done better from the last project. So continuous improvement, I believe, which is something an organisation I'm involved with called Accelerator is working on, is trying to keep the architecture and the structural form similar and after each project, we have a meeting to discuss what went well and what could be improved. And then we roll that on the next project so that it, as each project progresses, we get slowly better and better at what we do, continuous improvement. So I would assume to dumb it down for like an ordinary person, similar plans, but adapt to new projects, basically. That's right. So, In so itself should save a lot of money, no, right? No, you're right. So it doesn't have to be identical. So your house or your development won't look the same as the one next door. Some simple changes to the architecture can make sure that happens. We're not talking about rolling out the same sort of housing across all of New Zealand. We're talking about using similar systems and we call it typologies, which is the type of uh, unit or the layout of the rooms that are similar but not identical so that you can get that different look between developments. That makes a lot of sense and we would think that's should be the practice now or to some degree not well often what happens is the projects are let on lowest price so whoever whichever engineer or architect gives the lowest price will often sorry yeah. yeah often what happens in projects is consulting teams are appointed on the lowest price so you get the yeah. lowest price from an architect an engineer a geotech engineer and so you end up with a different team which results in continuous improvement not happening because you haven't got the same team working together. Cool, so to summarise for us, mm -hmm. um, how do we keep the cost in check? Good question. <laughs> I'll see if I can remember everything I just spoke about. <laughs> <clears throat> so starting from the end, continuous improvement, having a consulting team and a consulting design that's been done before and tweaking it but using the best of it and repeating it over and over again will get you cost of benefits. Yep making sure you're using the latest innovative construction techniques and products, uh, making sure your consultants are collaborating well and are communicating and have worked well together in the past, mm -hmm. will make sure that they come up with an efficient design for the entire project, not just for their area. Cool, thank you very much, Andrew. Thank you.